Hello Nibblings, I'm Eklenar. This is a short look at Sid Meier's Starships. Uh, so I'm uh, still expanding my space empire here. I already conquered uh, another empire, which was these five planets here. Um, I took out the pirates in the last episode, and I'm about to take out the marauders. So let's just get on to it. So the Marauders are tougher than the Pirates, if you watched the last episode. Uh, this is the heart of the vast Marauders Empire. Their main battle fleet is based here. The Marauders are, are bad guys, really. They yes, oppress, oppress people a lot. Although, to be clear, or to be fair, it's not clear that we're good guys. <laughs> All right, so these ships are quite a bit more formidable than the pirates. The ships themselves, as you can see, uh, are individually better than one of my ships. Um, I just have a lot more ships. That's the big advantage. Um, so they are fast. They are heavily armed four lasers and four cannons on that one as well as two fighters this is a big old tough ship look at these names reprobate censure destructor calamity those are great names um this one has lasers and torpedoes so it is the least th the this one i should avoid shooting because it's not as much of a threat as the others these other three have cannons so I should take them out as soon as I can. Cannons and fighters. All right, let's get to it. So what's my battle card? Increase weapon range. Um, all right, get in there. Uh, oh, there's a cloaked ship there with lasers. Okay, not too worried about it. So I want to take out these cannon ships first. So get closer. Um, I might just go ahead and take this ship out. Let's see, let's get my, uh, where's my carrier? There it is. Uh, let's get my carrier in here. Fighters launched. Yeah, I'll just. Fighters launched. Some more fighters. Uh. uh... Uh, yeah, go ahead and destroy this ship, I think. Just can't do a whole lot to the others, and I can destroy that one, so. Um. So I'm gonna put it on top of this ship for now, but I'm gonna impulse power with my dual command to get out of there. Uh, okay, so I've already damaged this ship. I can I can nearly take it out with that one. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best call yet. Let me do a little maneuvering. Okay, so it can do 54 with this ship and 121 with this ship. That might do it. Let's find out. Let's do this. Battle card activated. There we go. Take it out. Yeah, take out that cannon ship. Good. Taking out one of their cannon ships means 
I will lose one less ship next turn, basically. Because their cannon ships look powerful enough to maneuver around behind one of mine and just take it out completely. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do this. Well, I can do twenty one damage to the spiders. Might as well. Sit here, so you know, get to uh, miss taking a shot. We lost a fighter. It's fine. I'm not worried about fighters. Okay. Didn't lose a ship. That's good. I thought with two ships left with cannons that I'd lose a ship. But my shields are very strong. Okay, let's uh, let's get someone in here who is a rookie. Yeah. Uh, fighters, take out their fighters. Get my carrier up here. Fighters launched. Fighters launched. And finish taking out. Nice shot. Yeah. That's good. Good, good, good. I don't know why some of my fighters get dual command and some of them don't. Uh... Alright, the only shot I can take is this. Take it. Good. Uh, let's see... Can I move around this planet? and hit those fighters. Yes. Nice shot. Great. Who do I have left? Um Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to take out this ship. Yeah. 676 damage. That's a lot. Um, does this ship... I don't think this ship has a shot left. This ship should... Shields. Look at that, 25,000 damage. Alright, the Marauders are defeated. Marauder Homeworld. Um, 3,700 medals. 
for doing that. And it joins my location, or my uh, federation, 12 billion citizens. So I gained 20 billion citizens on this turn between the the pirate homeworld and the marauder homeworld. Um, so that is a, a massive increase to my empire. So now one of the victory conditions, I believe, is to have 51% of the galactic population. I'm up to 48% of the galactic population. So there's a decent chance that I will just win on this turn. Warp Nexus, um, operational. Uh, Convergent Light Wonder, don't want that. Um, so... I'm gonna repair my ships. And let's pick a fight. Oh, you know what? I could just expand over into these planets um, without picking a fight and let them keep fighting each other. So I'm going to do that um, and pick a fight as a last resort, basically. Look at all these credits I have. I can I can go here and do this quest and get those credits and then buy out the influence of that planet. So I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, is there any tech I can buy? Nope. Approaching Canis Majoris, 57. All right, a colony ship carrying an armored battalion is approaching a remote outpost. Um, prevent it from doing so. No problem. Yes, Commander. With the fleet I have now, like, these missions are easy. I mean, the missions get more difficult as the game goes on, right? See, like, these ships are quite a bit tougher than the ones I faced when doing this version of this mission earlier in the game. Um, but they are no match for my ships. Yeah, they're, they're weaker than the Marauder ships I just defeated, so I won't have any trouble. So let's just get in there, blow up these enemies. Nice shot. Get away from the torpedo. Why didn't I have dual command on that? Hmm. Um. Good shot. Can't get away from the torpedo. Alright, well I just took out pretty much all their ships. We didn't get dual command again, I don't understand. Uh, can't shoot these, so I'm just... I'll just move. Where's my carrier? There's my carrier. Oh, I need better engines on my carrier, apparently. I make sure I do that. Fighters launched. Fighters launched. It's weird. I got Incoming two dual control. commands on those fighters. Something's buggy about dual command, I think. Alright, what have I got here?
Entering narrow passage. Entering narrow passage. Soften it up a bit with these fighters. Take it out with this ship. Nice shot. There we go. Mission complete. Trade route established with Canis Majoris. Fifty seven. Okay. Uh so now let's see. I could declare war on one of the other factions and just take a couple of their planets and win. But let's see if I can win without doing that. So let's buy the influence of this planet. So they're in my federation now. Warp Nexus operational. Get them linked in. Um, I'm going to try buying a bunch of population and see if I can win that way. So I'm at 49%. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Still fifty percent. Fifty-one percent, and I just won. So there we go. So, that's the game. That's uh, Sid Meier's Starships. So let's let's look at that victory screen. The volume might get a little loud. Uh, I think I got the volume levels right, but I could be wrong. We'll find out. And so, within the year, a galactic referendum elects you ruler in Eternum. Prosperity flourishes throughout the galaxy, and there will follow a thousand years of peace. All right, so that's Sid Meier's Starships. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a nice little game. Uh, it's not supposed to be an expansive game like the Civ series. It's just a fun game that you can complete in two hours. Um, uh, and um, I'm hoping to do more of this short look style gameplay where I just play a game for an hour or two and break it up into 30 minute episodes to show to you. You know, a game that doesn't really, that I don't really want to spend a whole long form let's play on. Um, I think Faye has a few games lined up that they want to uh, record in a similar manner. Um, so look forward to more of these and we'll just kind of intersperse them in throughout our regular schedule pretty much whenever we feel like, I think is the plan. Um, so hopefully after this, uh, there will be more Stardew coming back in its regular time slot. Uh, I just needed to fill something in. We've both been really busy lately, and I happen to have a couple of hours free. So I did this for you, but, um, who knows what we'll do next. But tune in, because we'll definitely do something. <laughs>